that. Social rank, you mean? But astral arts are innate, right? So people's positions are fixed at birth. They can be honed with the right training, and there are admittedly other factors at play. But yes, that's basically the gist. As a result, family lines that churn out lords and their contenders wield disproportionate influence, and those lineages are treated as nobility. Those capable of only weak astral arts are effectively an underclass, denied the right to descend to Dana even if they wanted to. Still, even the lowest rung on the Renan ladder is considered superior to being a Danon. Keep that in mind down there. Thanks for the warning. As a lord, Dohalim must have been pretty high up in the pecking order, right? What about you, Xion? Come on, you've seen her skill with astral arts. You really need to ask? <laughs> Fair point. On arts alone, you're right. I'd have been sitting pretty. But you're forgetting my thorns. They weren't exactly an invitation to high society. Ah, uh, sorry. No, it's fine. It's refreshing to be around someone who says what they're thinking. Life's less complicated that way. Jeez, give backhanded compliments much? Wait a second. Are you? He is! Law's blushing! I am not! <laughs> of course, separating people into castes based on something arbitrary like arts is discrimination at its worst. As if such simplistic criteria could ever be a measure of someone's worth. So this red woman, are we expecting to find her on Lenigus? I would wager so. Lenigus is too deeply involved in all this to discard the possibility. Chances are she's also connected to the Renis Alma being stolen from us in Pelegion. If the Renis Alma is being used to exploit Dana, we need to take it back at all costs. That red woman's got a lot to answer for. Just as well, I've got a ton of questions. We're about to land. The descent could be a little bumpy, so brace yourselves. If there are clues about your thorns out there, Shion, we'll find them. I forgot Wenicus is just a giant space station. How are we not being assaulted by guards? There's no one here. I wasn't expecting a welcome mat, but still... Lenigus's infrastructure is largely automated. Besides, people won't be expecting incoming traffic while the crown contest is still underway. But they got the ship on the wall. Do you think anyone realizes that we're here? We may not have received a royal welcome, but I doubt our entrance went unnoticed. Don't let your guard down. I really hope we don't have to fight anybody while we're here. So now what? We've come all this way on a hunch that this red woman is here, right? And if we're lucky, the Renis Alma too. Any idea where we should start looking? There is an area of the city that is accessible only to the Sovereigns, known as the Forbidden Zone. That seems as good a place as any for us to start. Forbidden? What are they hiding? I don't know. Hence my desire to find out. Fortunately, we just so happen to have a sovereign in our midst. In any case, changing the shape of a huge structure such as Lenigus would have required an immense source of power. And you think that source might have been the Renis Alma? Precisely. Alfin said that he remembered the Renis Alma being used in the spirit channeling ceremony three centuries ago. Whatever the ceremony's purpose, if preparations are underway for it to be held once more, then the Renis Alma might be in the same place as last time, possibly together with the Red Woman. 
Hiding something of that worth in the residential quarters would only court trouble. In which case... It stands to reason we should be looking somewhere normally out of bounds. Is that it? Indeed. But it's been over 300 years since I was made a sovereign. You can't seriously think I'll be able to waltz right into the place after all this time. There's only one way to find out. If there's even a chance you can get us in, I say we give it a shot. Xion's right. Who knows? We might even find a clue to her thorns while we're at it. All right. It's not like we're swimming in Leeds, so let's try to track down the Forbidden Zone. Beyond the... Oh. Thinking about what could be lurking out here is giving me the heebie-jeebies. For such a loudmouth, you sure can be a worry ward at times. Oh, I'm sorry. How stupid of me for wanting us to stay safe. Would you two children stop squabbling? Or do you want everyone to know we're here? <clears throat> so how many Renans actually live in this place? I couldn't tell you exactly, though not as many as you might expect. Machines and Zoogles take care of most of the city's basic functions. There's Zoogles out here too, huh? Sounds like we can't afford to let our guard down after all. Dang, even up here, huh? So... Can I leave? I can leave whenever I want. Okay, that's good to know. What's this? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Oh, I would've loved to have ran out there. I think this is going to be the last one I do for the night so I can edit all this stuff and I think after Tuesday, which is going to be on Wednesday, well not on Wednesday, it will be some other day, but any day I start recording again on Genshin, oh what the hell is happening? Well this place looks like shit. I don't want to live in a place like this. And I'm not talking about now because it's destroyed. I'm talking about prior. I wouldn't want to look up and just see stars all the time. Give me that gray sky on a rainy day. I feel like I've seen what this somewhere before, though. This being Renin territory, I was prepared for a lot of things to look different. But this? This is a bit more than I anticipated. The very foundations of the city have shifted. What could have caused this? When Lenigus changed shape, it must have had an effect on the interior, too. Maybe when they sent the wedge down to Dana? But they wouldn't move around the places where people live. These are their homes, right? I would think the citizens themselves didn't have much say in the matter. Either way, Locating the Forbidden Zone just became that much trickier. Dolhalim? Is that you? Avakir, I'm glad to see you're well. So it is you! But why are you here? Shouldn't you be down on Dana participating in the Crown Contest? And these people! So you haven't heard what happened on Dana then? Heard what? Someone you know? An old friend. Hey, Dohalim. Don't tell me you've started keeping company with- They're with me. More importantly, what's happened here? Uh, I'm really not sure. The city's foundations began to shift without warning, and now everything looks like this. We're all waiting for the Sovereign to tell us what's happening, but so far- Avakir, listen to me. We're looking for the Forbidden Zone. Do you have any idea where we might find it? The Forbidden Zone? What business could you possibly have there? Trust me, the less you know, the better. <sighs> You're just the same as ever. 
I wish I could help, but what with the changed topography, I can barely locate my own home. Let alone the Forbidden Zone. Very well. It looks like we'll have to find the way there ourselves. Have you seen Faria yet? That would be the girl. No. I see. Well, nothing much has changed with her. If anything, she's probably even more... I can well imagine. Why did you come back? You know it can only result in pain for you both. I've no doubt of that. You really are the same as ever. Fine, I understand. Just don't say I didn't warn you. And take care of yourself. Okay, Doe? Okay, Doe. <laughs> I know what he's trying to do. He's trying to give a nickname to Dohoin, but it just sounds funny. So who's Faria? La. <sighs> if what Avakir said is true, it would seem the people of Lenegus are being kept in the dark about what's happening down on Dana. They seem to be just as clueless about what's going on up here in their own world. Despite the fact that it's actually here that the Wedge originally came from. We need more information. Let's talk to the citizens, see what we can find out. While we're at it, we can ask them about the Red Woman, too. And don't forget about finding the way to the Forbidden Zone, either. Let's leave the talking to Xion. We can't have a bunch of Danans poking their noses around. Good idea. I think that's for the best. I shall assist. You sure? Being a lord on Lenigus has its advantages. Right. Then we'll leave it to you two. Oh. That just the Danids among us should probably keep our heads down. What if people freak out? I shall explain it away by saying I'm leading you. What are we, dogs? Ugh. What could be so important? It's worth destroying people's livelihoods and homes in the process. It's just... unbelievable. Uprooting an entire city as if it were mere building blocks. Someone's got an awful lot of questions to answer. From how it looks, they must be siphoning off astral energy from Dana, and then sending it to Rena. But why do all this? What for? Surely they can't be using all that energy for the crown contest. Whatever their purpose, disrupting their siphoning process alone won't be sufficient. Not while we still don't know what their end game is. He's right. We need to stop this from happening ever again. This Forbidden Zone might be where we find some answers, right? So what are we waiting for? Let's get moving! You heard him. You don't have time to stop and chat. Let's move. This last skit, and then I'm gonna be done for the night. Then after today, the things that I will be next solo recording is just going to be focused on catching up on everything I have to do in Genshin. Because I actually think we're skipping two. I think we're skipping 2.9 and going straight to 3.0 after 2.8. So I've been wondering, do you think when Lenigus was built, it was even made with people living here in mind? What do you mean? Well, none of this happened by coincidence, right? They must have designed it to transform like this. But then, if they knew people were going to live here, you'd think they would have taken that into consideration, to avoid all this chaos. Ordinarily, yes. You'd think so. Trust me, as far as we were concerned, Lenigus was our home, nothing more. No one knew about all this. It makes you wonder whether the city was just built on as an afterthought. But if so, to what exactly? Sorry. That probably sounded weird, huh? <sighs> Not at all. Sometimes it takes an outsider's eye to help you notice what you've been missing all along. This place is a mystery, that's for sure. Something tells me we'll find answers where we're going, though. Yeah, you're right, Xion. I'm sure we will. Okay, so that's it for me there. Uh, I like how the la this time and the last time I played Tales of Arise is... I would then branch off back into like a different game and put this game on on the break for a short time. 
It shouldn't take me long to catch up with things in Genshin, because the only things I really was missing was Yewon Story Quest, Kuki Shinobu Hideout, and then we have a new character with his hi hi did I say hideout? Hangout. So I have two hangouts, which I'm sure will both have like five endings, maybe six. And that usually takes me like 30 to 40 minutes to get done. And then again, the BA1 story quest would take me like an hour to do. And then I have to catch up on... I have to do the event, every event in 2.8. And any new side quests that pop up in 2.8. And then catch up on the Chasm story quests. And then... That's pretty much it for me. Then I will be all cut up in Genshin and ready for... 3.0, which I do believe 2.9 will be skipped because 1.7, 8, and 9 were skipped to get to 2.0. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead, go and do my dailies in Genshin today, and then edit all these videos so I have nothing to edit on the day when I do have to do Genshin stuff. Okay, so the rest of this video is after I have done all that stuff I said I needed to do in Genshin, and plus some stuff I've done in Pokemon at this time. And also, me and Zach just have raids left to do in Sword Art at this point. So, uh, I'm here in Tales of Arise again. Um, a part of me, a part of me isn't exactly wanting to record today, but the other part of me says to just do it. Because, well, I mean, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> so, I gotta get, I gotta get work done. It's when it gets done for. The residential quarter is falling apart. Ooh, these kids be looking a little hurt. With everything all topsy turvy in the residential quarter, there are lots of injuries. Stuff keeps dropping on people and they're also falling down. That kid is actually dead. That kid is just actually dead. Oh no, that kid is di- Oh, that kid's not moving! Oh, wow! That kid is out of here. What an unspeakable mess this has all become. Just look at the state of our city. Even the Zoogles have stopped heeding our commands. Whatever did we do to deserve this? You really have no clue what might have caused this? Would that I have. Alas, there was no warning, no prior decree. His Highness must have deemed it unnecessary for us to know. We have no choice but to grin and bear it. But do my eyes deceive me? Could I really be standing in the presence of his lordship, Dohalim of the House Ilkaris? I believe he was on Dana. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is I, one and the same. I have returned to fulfill a special duty, the details of which I cannot divulge. As your lordship wishes, first Lanagus mutates beyond recognition, now this unexpected visit, the Sovereign's plans are inscrutable indeed. The Ilkaris House has produced a great many lords over the centuries. I shall be praying for your victory in the latest crown contest. Your good wishes do me an honor. The Sovereign knows best. His will works in mysterious ways. Hmm. Can anyone hear me? Please, someone answer! What is going on? Why can't I reach anyone? I could... I think I've said it before, there's no way I would be able to win something like this. Anyway... Where's that dang sovereign? Uh, where's that dang sovereign when you need him? Can't he see this city's in trouble? Let's not jump to conclusions now. 
I'm sure there's a reason he hasn't appeared yet. They'd simply give it time. Uh-huh. Where am I? I just went out for a walk, but now I don't know where I am. I don't know. Everything's falling apart. I thought it was being called. It looks completely different. I can't get a hold of mother and father either. Mm, you have nothing to fear, kids. I'm sure there's a reason for everything that's going on. But even the Zoogles are running loose. That seems dangerous. Zoogles are nothing more than our servants. They may have gotten out, but I assure you, I'll have them back under control before long. If you kids consider yourselves to be proud reddins, then be brave. We'll have the situation fixed before you know it. I doubt you will. What are you doing? Oh, you're trying to tell them to get moving. In all my years, never have I ever seen such potent healing arts. Thank you so much for taking the time to help an old woman like me. Huh. Everything will be okay now. I know the basics of healing arts, but my skills pale in comparison. Am I even... Okay, I am unmuted. I thought I was muted. Your Lordship! Oh, what a great honor it is to finally meet you! I descended to Dana during the last crown contest also. Alas, when the contender I was backing failed to clinch the title, I returned. I witnessed the deaths of so many slaves. Indeed. Sorry to interrupt, but we're looking for a woman dressed all in red. Have you seen anyone of that description? It's like red and black. Oh, red, eh? No, I can't say I remember anyone like that. I imagine she'd stand out somewhat, too. Yeah. What about down on Dana during the crown contest? You didn't see anyone like that hanging around the lord you were serving? What's with all these questions? I've never seen her, okay? Not recently or otherwise. Why do you want to find her anyway? Never mind. Forget I asked. Sorry to take up your time. I wonder if they'll put the crown contest on hold. I, I would imagine so. The Zoogle suddenly stopped listening to our commands. As soon as we turned our backs, they bolted for the horizon. Nothing like this has ever happened before. We have to put the crown contest on hold. We can't carry on a while like this. Is everything okay? You look a little lost. Mm hmm? Oh, yes. I can't seem to find my way home, is all. I was just about to make my umpteenth attempt at a new route. I was hoping to head this way myself. The situation is a real pain, huh? I suppose the Sovereign knows best. I do not have some wine royalty. A lower caste can only linger around these parts for so long before I outstay my welcome. I was hoping to avoid it, but maybe I'll have to go that way after all. You mean you know another way round? Lord Dohalin Ilkaris! But how? Last I heard, you were in Dana competing in the crown contest. Yes, strange, isn't it? If you know another route, we'd be grateful if you could tell us. But, but of course. Please forgive me. There's a wall that sprung up ahead of here, with what looks to be an entrance in it. I thought maybe it was a passageway between the different quarters, but I've no way of knowing for sure. It's worth investigating, at least. I shall go and assess the situation. In the meantime, wait for me here. If it looks safe, I'll come and let you know. You'd really do that for me? A lord troubling himself for someone of my lowly status? Our lot in life is of little consequence. We are both Renan, first and foremost. Oh, why yes, my lord. Thank you. Well, we've canvassed the city for information. What do you think? No one has the faintest idea what's happened to the city after all. They haven't heard the news about the crown contest either. You'd think that info would easily find its way up here. Has it always been like that? Not to this extent. 
which would indicate that something's suppressing the truth, that Lenicus is under some kind of control. Given everything that's happened to their city, the people here seem weirdly okay with it all. Yeah, that one guy even said Zugal had stopped listening to him. If that's true, these people are in big trouble. Everything that happens here is attributed to the Sovereign's will. It's the way people have been conditioned. Their belief runs deep. Nothing happens devoid of a reason. To them, it's all part of the Sovereign's grand plan. Oh, that's stupid. The Sovereign's plan. There is one thing I'm still not sure about. Just who is this person ruling over Lenigus? The Sovereign, of course. He rules from Rena while presiding over both Rena and Lenigus. Without the lords or anyone in the middle doing his dirty work? Isn't Rena at least the same size as Dana? That's a pretty big dominion for one person to rule over. I would have thought ruling Lenigus alone would be difficult enough. The points you make are valid. Though I confess I'd never given it much thought before. Here, the Sovereign's total authority is as natural as night turning to day. Come to think of it, I know nothing of the nature of how Rena itself is... <sighs> Shion, have you ever been... No, forgive me. Have you met or crossed paths with, or even heard of someone who's actually made a visit to the homeland? No, I haven't. Neither have I. In which case, I would imagine that... <clears throat> but no, surely not. Can it really be that no citizen of Lenigus has ever been there? Hold up, what are you getting at, Dohalim? Assuming what I believe to be correct, it's possible that no one on Lenigus has ever laid eyes on the actual Renan homeworld itself. No one but the Sovereign, that is. But what about trade and communication? There's got to be a flow back and forth, surely. Not if the Sovereign is imposing his will on Lenigus single-handedly. It could be a one-way street. But I thought you said that the Sovereign's all the way over on Rena. If that's the case... Can he really rule directly over Lenigus from so far away? What if something were to happen to the city, like now? I'm beginning to wonder what the nature of this Sovereign even is. Alfin said he was forced into the role, right? Just before the ceremony. But Sovereign is also the title given to the Almighty Renin ruler. So which one is it? Whoever wins the crown contest inherits the throne from his or her predecessor before becoming ruler over all of Rena and Lenigus. Thereafter, that individual is known as the Sovereign. Though, it would appear that the current ruler has gone silent. As for how Volron factors into all this, at this point, I no longer know what to believe. Three centuries ago, I became the Sovereign here on Lenigus. No, not just became, I was forced to. Me, a Danon. 300 years later, we cross paths with Volron, who also bears the Sovereign's crest. That's not the only thing we have in common. We both became Sovereign without winning the Crown Contest. Do you think Volron was made Sovereign for the same reason? Because of that ceremony? I can't say for sure, but it certainly sounds like it. But that would mean that two Sovereigns would need to exist at any one time. One whose job it is to rule, and the other for ceremonial purposes. We never did see Volron's body back in Ganeth Heros. Is a new ceremony underway with Volron at its center this time? Could that be what's causing all this strange activity here? Wait a second. You don't think Volron and the Red Woman are working together, do you? The ceremony can't go forward without the Renis Alma. The same one that the Red Woman stole. There's something else the ceremony needs. A maiden. And unless there's another one out there aside from me. Questions, questions, and yet more questions. Ones that it seems will remain unanswered until we can establish the Sovereign's identity. If the Forbidden Zone really is off limits to everyone but the Sovereign, that seems as good a place as any to start. For the sake of liberating Dana, too. Then it's decided. That's where we need to go. One of the citizens mentioned a passage that she thought might lead to another section of the city. It could point us in the right direction. Let's go find it! That... I feel truly blessed to have a ward who shows so much care and concern for his people. 